Hey there everybody, Racecrafter here with a brand new channel and a brand new build series. Thank you so much for tuning in. What if I told you you could get perfectly smooth and evenly spaced curved roads just like these every single time? You'd be pretty stoked, right? Yeah, so was I when I came up with this magic formula that will give you these perfectly smooth curved roads no matter what type of road you're using, no matter what the width, every single time. The key component to this is the PLOTS website. I first came across this in one of Lord Dakar's uh, videos. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, there's a link to his channel in the description below. You should check it out. He's got some really great stuff. And also a big thanks to Kevin Reynolds who built the PLOTS website specifically for Minecraft builds. We'll get to that in just a little bit, but let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so let me just quickly uh, explain the formula here, and I will try to explain it as easily as I can, because you're probably looking at the screen going, no, dude, I don't want to do math, but r trust me, it's, it's, it's really simple. So we're going to start with the outside curve, which is the largest curve. You're going to count out the total width of your road, so however many blocks that is, Multiply that number by 3, that's going to give you a to your total circle diameter. That's the first number you're going to use the sliders on the PLOTS website. You lay out your curve, you're done. I like to do them in sections. So the next part, uh, you count out your section width, multiply that number by 2, then subtract that number from the original number from the large outside curve. That's going to give you your section width uh, diam total circle diameter, readjust the sliders on the PLOTS website, lay out your curve, done. Now you're going to going to repeat that for each section. So the number is going to keep getting smaller and smaller as the curve gets smaller and smaller moving from left to right. And that's the explanation. So let's get to it and it'll make so much more sense as we do it here. Okay, so as you can see the finished products here, um, all the curves are nice and smooth, all the sections are evenly spaced, you got super sweet curves no matter what size road you're dealing with. Okay, so let's get to it here. We're going to start with our small neighborhood low density road here, two lane, and we're going to count out our total width. So we'll start here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 is our total width. So using our formula, we do 15 multiplied by 3 is 45. That's our number we're going to use over at the PLOTS website. So let's go there now. And as you can see, there are many different things you can build here. Uh, we're going to use the ellipse. Here's the ellipse thing. Uh, we're going to use the sliders. You can have all kinds of weird shapes, but just by moving the sliders in any which way, but uh, we're going to set these to our 45. Come on now. Okay. And then uh, up in the top left corner, hit the 2D. So you get our layout here. It's really cool. It's got all the color coordinate numbers for laying out the thing. And then uh, hit the uh, zoom button and we're going to start laying them out. What I like to do is kind of, once I've laid them out, I'll move the screen over. I'm using an iPad, so it's a little easier for the, the zooming, but I'll move the screen over so I don't, so I don't get confused and repeat numbers. So there's our 45 numbers set up, and we will start our layout with five, three, three, one, two. So we go back over to our side over here. So we start with five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And our next section will be one, two, three, four, four ones. One, 
one, one, one. And then you got to be careful with the flip here because we're going to, it's going to flip some, you know, half the circle goes north, south, half the circle goes east, west. So we get the flip. We're going to go two, one, three, three, five, two, one, three, three, five. And there's our first outside curve. It was as easy as that. Now, we're going to go back to our formula, and we're going to do our section. So I'm going to use the yellow line as my first section. So I'm going to count directly, using the block directly next to the one we just laid out, starting here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So using our formula, 7 multiplied by 2 is 14. Take that 14, subtract 14 from 45, our original number on our big curve over here, that we get 31. So we lay out our 31 number on our on the plots website and start laying out this one using yellow. So I'm a little bit slow here. I'm kind of doing three things at once. So four, three, two, one, one. Four, three, two, one, one. And our next one is one, one, two with a flip. So we go one, one, two at the flip, and then three and, f so four, yeah, three and four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And you can see we line up nicely with our outside curve. Fly up here, take a look, whoops, come on. And there's our perfectly spaced and smooth curve. So now we're going to do our second section. And again, starting at the block directly to the left of the one you just laid out, we count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So again, we multiply 7 by 2 using the formula. It comes to 14. We subtract our 14 from our previous number of 31 which brings us to 17 so we're going to this set to 17 and we're going to lay out this one it's going to start with a 3 2 1 1 so 1 2 3 2 1 one, we're going to get a flip and do two, and the last one is three. One, two, three. Everything lines up beautifully. Fly up here to take a look, and there you have a perfectly smooth, perfectly even spaced curve. Let's move on to our medium or high density road, two lanes each side, four lanes total. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to count out our total width. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. So Using our formula, 27 times 3 is 81. So we're going to use that on our plots website. Or not ours, but you know what I mean. So we're going to start off with 7, 4, 3, 3, 2.
now. Start with our first section. We're going to go over to this yellow line here. So we're going to count again. Block directly to the left of the one we just laid out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen times two, twenty-six. Twenty-six subtracted from eighty-one is fifty-five. So you go to the the plots website, move the sliders down to 55, get that layout, and start our first section. So there you have it, the magic formula put into practice and proven to be effective every single time. I really hope that I've explained this effectively so that you understand it. And of course, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to post in the comments section below. I do read every single post and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. I hope this has helped you out and if it has, Please show your support by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and dinging that notification bell. I will be posting on a regular basis. I have some fresh new builds coming up, and I will see you in the next video. I'm out of here. See ya.